Giants running back Rashad Jennings played a key role in Monday night's win over the Dolphins. But the Virginia native wants to be known for more than what he does on the football field. All right, tonight Jennings tells us what drives him in his own words. Hello, hello. Welcome to my humble palace. You know me as Rashad Jennings, the running back of the New York Giants, but I'm much more than that. I like music. I mean, music is one of the only elements in the world where you can change an entire room, mood, emotions without touching furniture or people. It relaxes you. You know, I'm a hopeful romantic at heart, so I think that it uh, plays into why music is really an important piece of who I am. Being a running back on the New York Giants is one of the funnest jobs I think you could have in the entire world. You're playing in the Mecca. You're playing with the greatest head coach. You're, you're playing with one of the greatest quarterbacks. It's a fun atmosphere to play. And my job is to find ways, some shape or form, to contribute to the team, whether it's fighting for first downs, whether it's getting those hidden yardages, whether it's protecting the quarterback's blind side, whether it's trying to block a punt or contributing on special teams. So it's fun, and um, I love it here. I feel in the home. Every offseason, I try to pick up a different craft just to keep my mind churning. It kind of did that in college. One semester in college, I picked up a guitar and never put it down. And then this offseason was poetry and archery. And it rhymes on purpose. No matter the weather or season, my location of reaching, you've given me the greatest gift, life with reason. Shut the board. A lot of people don't know how much work is put in behind the scenes um, to have any type of success or even a chance to success in the NFL. Hand off right for Jennings. He lowers his shoulder. He powers his way into the end zone for a giant touchdown. We get to wake up and see the final product on a Sunday, on a Monday, on a Thursday. But behind the scenes, you know, you spend countless hours of time towards your craft. You make numerous of sacrifices but it's well worth it because it's something you love. Hand off Jennings. He runs right and goes in, standing up, touchdown Giants. This smile walking through the door, right, of opportunity, like a gentleman. So I had a reader comprehension deficit growing up. I was a short, overweight, dorky kid with glasses and asthma. Part of my asthma was my dad used to smoke in the house all the time and I hated it, and he used to drink heavily. I hated that too. I said, hey dad, you know, can you quit smoking and drinking for me? And he took another sip and he looked at me and said, son, what do you want to do when you get older? I looked up at him and said, dad, I want to play in the NFL as a running back. Took another sip. He said, do you think honestly you'll be able to make it to the NFL without drinking or smoking yourself? And from a little kid, I said, yeah, you know, um, not knowing what would happen years later, but just to prove my dad wrong, you know, he, he still to this day don't know how much, you know, he truly saved my life with that challenge. And uh, because I was that overweight kid, I was forced to learn how to train and take care of my body um, because of my academic. I became a lover of learning um, because I had to truly learn and um, because I didn't always know the right things to do, uh, mentorship is very important to me. And because of those three elements, I'm now able to give back through a form and a foundation. And how it works is instead of us throwing away our hat, our socks, our gloves from a game, whatever it is, autograph it, make sure your number's on it. I collect all the items. I take it to the local schools who want to partner with the Rashad Jennings Foundation Reading Program. Kids come in, they get a book. They read the book. They return the book. They take a test on the book. If they score 80% or above, the name goes inside of a hat. At the end of each month, the 
librarian pulls a name out of the hat. That kid gets to pick the first item. If the school has 10 items, there's 10 winners. I wanted to bring people together with laughter to raise money. Hey, welcome to Rashad Jennings Foundation first annual John Knight of Comedy. The funny thing is that a kid rather have a funky, dirty, crusty sock worn by a professional athlete that they can be like, dang, he really wore this. <laughs> then having something brand spanking new. I honestly sleep better knowing that at the end of the day, I'm trying my best. Though I fell, though I'm not perfect, but I'm trying my best to change communities. I'm um, trying to win championships and make a difference in everybody's life that I encounter. I had a kid, man, that, his name was Jordan, Jordan Thomas. And the parents had called me and said that our child Jordan is battling cancer. The doctor only gave him a week to live. And if you can do absolutely anything in the world, what would you want to do? He said, I really like Rashad Jennings. It'd be cool to meet him. And, you know, still, I, I, again, man, it's just, it's the position. It's nothing about me. <laughs> so I never take it for granted. Um, I had him come up, you know, the ambulance had to bring him there because he really, really was sick. And I took him around the locker room and showed him what it was like to be me for a day. Uh, I let him put on my helmet. I played some card tricks for him. I took him in the weight room. Um, you know, I let him try to lift some weights. I asked him some of the things that he likes to do. And I wanted, you know, he asked me, he said, Rashad, can I ask you something? I said, sure. He said, are, are you fearful of anything? And uh, his family's there. And I said, am I fearful of anything? He said, yeah, does anything scare you? I said, well, not, not too much. I'm kind of scared to fail sometimes. And he said, you should never be scared to fail because you're perfect. And for the child to be close to death but inspire me with life means so much. And he said, make sure you promise me one thing. I said, yes, sir. He said, make sure you keep doing what you're doing and make a difference. And you know, that's just, for me, that's an angel giving confirmation. Amazing, Ooh. wow. Powerful. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, incredible to hear that.